Alrighty, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. So, like I said in the last episode, we're going to be filling up on Pokemon, or we're going to be filling up on our team, mainly because in this game right here, we have the power to actually change up our team drastically. And uh, while we're doing that off screen, we're going to be training up our Pokemon too, because the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to be battling, uh, what was his name? Brawly, yes. The not so super saiyan and all that stuff. Now you guys are wondering, why are your Pokemon's levels lower than the last episode? Well, that's very simple, guys. I tried capturing the Zubat, and uh, unfortunately for me, I accidentally uh, called this guy Toxic Bat something, and uh, yeah, kind of screwed up on the nickname. So I had to replay, or I had to redo the whole thing. Completely forgot that I didn't save the game prior to do for the town, so. Yeah, kind of messed me up right there. So, there it is. We got ourselves Zubat, the Toxie Batman. So, there it is, guys. Everybody's growing levels like crazy and all that crud. And, uh, well, say hello to our newest Pokemon, not so newest Pokemon, Zubat, Toxie Batman. Zubat remains quietly unmoving in the dark spot during the bright daylight hours. It does so because prolonged exposure to the sun causes its body to, uh, to become slightly burned. That kind of sucks. So let's go right ahead and give him its legendary nickname. Now remember guys, we're going to be replacing Pokemon here and there. So it's not going to be a permanent fixture on our team. It's just going to be one of the many uh, <laughs> established Pokemon going to be on our team. So this is going to be like an all-star thing. So Toxie Bat Man. There we go. Proper nickname right there. Okay. This is what I did. I pressed that button instead of the, the bottom button and all that stuff. So that's one guy down. Let's uh, go ahead and meet our next Pokemon too. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so the next Pokemon on our team is going to be Makuhita. And uh, the reason I chose Makuhita is because the next gym battle will be uh, coming out with some electric type Pokemon with steel type capabilities. So trust me guys, Makuhita is going to be a good part of our team for eh, just a little bit until we switch up our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy. Now, we could have captured a Makuhita a while back by just trading a slack off. But I kind of figured that with the uh, experience share right here, plus the battles that we're going to be doing, it might not be able to obey me by the time we get to, I guess, level 30. Uh, I guess that limitation of level 30 or something. So... The best or the safest choice right here will actually be capturing the Makuhita, you know, in the wild rather than getting it in a trade. Because remember, getting a traded Pokemon, it will double the its experience points. It will grow a little bit faster. So there we go. God dang it. Okay, this Makuhita will not come come to me real quickly. And it's powering up right here. So damn. Okay, so let's try another Pokeball right here. As many of you guys already know, I like changing up the Pokeballs. Using different kinds of Pokeballs for different kind of Pokemon right here. So there we go. One. There's two. And there's three. Suck it. And there we go. We caught ourselves a Makuhita. So uh, that makes it four Pokemon on our team. And uh, it will be added to the Pokedex right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, read up on this Makuhita. It is a female, of course. Makuhita is a tenacious, or is tenacious. It will keep getting up and attacking its foe, however many times it is knocked down. Every time it gets back up, the po uh, this Pokemon stores more energy in its body for evolving. So, it's a tanky Pokemon right here. Very, very tanky Pokemon. So, what is it, the nickname that I'm going to be giving this Pokemon? Well, it kind of looks like a sumo wrestler. Kind of reminds me of uh, two wrestlers. Kind of, uh, yeah, two wrestlers. Actually, three wrestlers. They're all cousins, hilarious, Umaga, Yokozuna, and Rikishi, and I kind of want to call it uh, Yokozuna here, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's call it Yokozuna right here, and of course, for those who don't know, Yokozuna is the highest level of uh, sumo wrestling level that you can ever get, so I guess it's a, I, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, which I'm gonna call it, a compliment onto this Pokemon right here. So, Yoko Zuna. Alrighty. Yoko Zuna. Alrighty, guys. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of training, battling some people that we haven't battled. 
and uh, we'll get straight to the Duford City Gym, okay? I'll be right back. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. And yes, up oh, off screen, I did a little bit of training. Now that you defeated the first gym leader, uh, every trainer and their mama will want to battle you. And I took advantage of that because I actually trained my Pokemon just a little bit more. Let me just take a give you a little a little show a little show right here. As you can see, Gaia number or Gaia right here. It's at level 14 still. Yoko Zun is the one that got a lot of uh, progress right here. We're at level 16. Talks of Batman as well, level 15, and then the Sage level 19. So we're really close to get leveling up again. And this is for the next battle right here, and that is the Dufer City Gym or Dufer Town or whatever it's called. I don't really necessarily care, but yes, Dufer Town Pokemon Gym Leader. Brawly, a big wave in fighting. He's not the Brawly that we're talking about, you know, the the awesome Brawly that we saw in uh, Dragon Ball Super, you know, that kind of Brawly. So let's go ahead and talk to the man who's only believed in this uh, quite a few times. Let's see. Yo, how is it uh, going, Champ to be Draven? Duford's uh, gym leader Brawly commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against them with normal Pokemon is asking for trouble. Fighting type Pokemon will lay serious smackdown on normal types candy asses. So stay on your toes. Okay, go for it. Of course, he didn't say candy ass, but you know what I mean when he says smackdown, you know? When they say smackdown, you gotta lay the candy asses and all that stuff. So, as you can see right here, trainers are waiting for us. You press that button, you take a look at the lights, just to see where your pathway is going to be. So let's go right ahead and start battling people right here. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Okay, well, yeah, I see how it is. So here we go, first challenge against Battle Girl Lara, and she will be coming out with a Meditite. Now this is a bit of a monkey wrench thrown at you just because Meditite is also a Psychic type Pokemon. So now we're going to have to rethink our strategy right here because uh, we don't have a Dark type Pokemon or actually a Bug type Pokemon. I actually, yeah, we're kind of weak right now. We got two Pokemon that are weak against this Meditite. So I'm going to be going with Sage of the Halo right here. And, uh, alrighty, confusion attack, will it do it? It can't do much, except confuse us, god dang it! Okay, luckily for us, I think I, well, I'm gonna go with a Fury Cutter right here, mainly because a Meditite is weak against Bug-type Pokemon, I would hope so, since it is still a Fighting-type Pokemon, but here we go. Fury Cutter does its thing, didn't hear the swoosh uh, sound. So it is not weak against bug type Pokemon. Come on, here we go. Fury Cutter again, and it's a little bit stronger this time. I don't know if third time will be the charm because as you can see right here, we're getting detected and it is protecting itself. So there we go, and it protected itself. So it's going back to the same stage. We're gonna be going with a quick attack right here. Come on, wake up. There we go. And that is how you do it. Meditite has been defeated. Hell yes, alrighty. And uh, everybody's getting experience points and all that stuff. And yes, yeah, she is crying her butt off right now. So, Lexi, let's go ahead and press this light. As you can see, it's leading you to the next trainer right here. So just make sure to memorize where you're going. Now, you can't go straight forward because the treadmill here is just sending you back. I mean, if we could jump over it, we could. But, yeah, we can't do it. So, memorize where you're going. And then after that, just head on your way right here. And, uh, well, here we are again. Might is right, come on! Alright, bring it. Just bring it, Jabroni. You are challenged by Hideki right here, and he will be coming out with a pure fighting type Pokemon, finally. Okay, let's go. Pure fighting type Pokemon against my Gaia, the Fierce Knight. And it has a no guard, okay, so I don't know what that does, so let's go right ahead and use some confusion attack. Hopefully, this will take it out completely, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it takes half its HP, and it's confused. You see, the, bo the 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 shoe is on the other foot right now, and... Okay, everything's going uh, our way right now. It's gonna be our way right now. And, uh, again, I would like to say to many of you guys, if my game is lagging during the compu or during the recording of this, I do apologize. Remember, guys, I'm actually using a uh, homebrew and... Uh, homebrew and an internet-based uh, kind of a capture card right here. That's why in episode I would like to say three. You kind of towards the end it kind of just like it lagged right there. So again, I do apologize for that. I think I got the I think I got got it all down right now. So hopefully within the future episodes you won't be seeing a lot of lagging right here. So let's see, a lot of memory, 
memorization right here and uh, well, we're gonna look right here and uh, it would look like that we have to get past her okay so let's go right ahead and just uh, say hi to her there's no need uh, for Brawly to be involved I'll crush you okay bring it on muchacha here we go battle girl Tessa would like to battle and she is a oh, crud coming out with that monkey wrench of a Pokemon Meditite now that's a that is a Pokemon that I would love to use, but you can't get it until like way later on. So, you know, this, you know, my guy is a little bit better right now since now we can get it. And uh, I don't know which one do you guys think is better, uh, Gallade or Meditite's final form, Metacham. And uh, there we go with the Meditate attack. So it's gonna up its uh, attack just a little bit right here. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and use Fury Cutter. Of course, Acorn Head right here is protecting itself. So now we gotta go again with another Fury Cutter. Alrighty. Alright, alright. And here we go with the confusion. Please do not confuse my Pokemon, because if you do, I will be pissed. I am not that pissed anymore. Here we go. Ah, oh, crud. See, I really do hate that move, because uh, I really want to beat this guy quickly, but he's not allowing me. So I'm gonna go straight for a Mega Drain right here. And uh, that is how you take care of that. Don't need, don't really need to heal my Pokemon anymore right there. So there we go. And say hello to level 20 right there. Look at that. Pokemon's gaining levels. Everybody's getting experience points. And here she's coming out with a Machop. So let's go straight back to Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. And, uh, well, I do have Toxic Batman with me. Again, guys, I know that I'm coming out with some uh, some of my older Pokemon from previous generations and all that stuff, but like I said in the last few episodes, in this walkthrough, we're going to be changing it up quite a few times, just because this game gives us a little bit more of a, you know, of a variety of Pokemon that we can use. Who knows? We might even use different kinds of teams and stuff. And, uh, well, we're getting leered at. So let's go again. Confusion. For the win. Eat that. Alrighty, I love that. I love it that I have the advantage right here. Okay. And look at that guy of the Fierce Knight, kicking ass, taking names, all that fun stuff, and no more Battle Girl. Okay, so now, we have to remember where we're going. Okay, so, we have this, okay, wrong way. Right here. Oh, crud, I think I lost my way. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go right here, and we're finally at the end point right here. And once we get over here, I believe he's doing some like, uh, what was it? He's doing some squats or something. No, he's doing Indian uh, Indian squats right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go straight to Bulbapedia just to figure out what Pokemon he uses. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. You know what? Let's just go with the Pokemon we got right now. So here he is doing some Indian squats. And, uh, well, look at his machinery right here. He's got the elliptical. He's got the... He's got the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the treadmill, he's got himself a bicycle, he's saying, I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough, ra the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave uh, at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So, you want to challenge me? Let me see what you're made of. And he's punching his fist. Hua! So here we go, guys. Battle number two, and we're going up against Brawly, not of Dragon Ball Z. Although he kind of has a haircut. And here we go, going against his Machop. So I, I picked correctly right here. Alrighty. There we go. He's coming out with a Machop. So I'm going to be coming out with uh, Gaia right here. Again, these guys are fighting type Pokemon. One of the biggest moves you guys should be worried about is uh, Work Up, because it will increase its attack and defense, I believe. And uh, look at that. It's confused right away. Look at that. Look at that. You can't take that. Okay, so he's confused. And he still hits me. And uh, that didn't really take that much. So let's go right ahead and use another confusion. And of course, him being a gym leader, he's going to be using a super potion. And, uh, well, no biggie. He's just uh, preventing the inevitable critical hit. Eat it, Machop. Hell yeah. Look at that. Okay. So he's going to be coming out with a Makuhita. Let's go right ahead and just stay with our Ralts right here. And uh, Makuhita is looking like a big old uh, bowl of cereal right there. So let's go with a confusion attack. 
And uh, it nearly takes him out. Wow. So here's a... Well, here's that bulk up attack, and its attack is, ra is raising in its defense, too. So let's finish this guy off with one more confusion attack. Hell yeah. And that is how the cookie crumbles right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So there we go. That was an easy battle right there. He's like, whoa, you made much bigger splash than I expected. Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Okay, you've got me. Take this gym badge. So here it is, guys. Our second gym badge right here. The knuckle badge. It's looking all masterful and everything. The knuckle badge from Brawly. The knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades, obey without question. Hmm. You know what? I think you, uh, you can make use of this, too. I'm sure it will help you, uh, bulk up your muscles. I wish. So here it is, guys. TM08. Bulk up. And, uh, bulk up tem or temporarily enhances the Pokemon's muscle power. The move both, uh, boosts both attack and defensive stats of the Pokemon. I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the, I look forward to the day when I can surf your giant wave. By the way, have you seen the Granite Cave? It's located north of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff like rail, like rare sto stones and wall painting stances of year ago. My friend Steven rushed into the cave uh, after I told him about it. Okay, so he, he just gave us the clue where Steven is. Uh, it's not like I didn't know where he was, but, you know, it's always nice for him to just notify us. You know, he's the only helpful person in this whole place right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, whoa, it's turned bright in here. You're bright, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much it for this episode right here. We defeated Brawly, and, uh, yeah, we're going to take care of the next episode by going to talk to Steven Stone and then just doing a, a few other stuff right here too. Uh, there is a small surprise that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, yeah, it, it happens to do with the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby kind of thing. You know, the chain kind of capturing and all that stuff. Since I can do it in the, uh, in the Alpha Sapphire. So stay tuned guys. In the next episode, I'm going to show you that surprise. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome and all that stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.